Although the F-22 Raptor and F-35 Joint Strike Fighter are among the most advanced fighter jets in the world, they have two distinct communication systems. This makes them unable to communicate with each other. That's why they needed a third plane to help facilitate the conversation. And that is the old plane U-2 Dragon Lady. The F-22 and F-35 are each equipped with a state-of-the-art data link that helps them send and receive data to other aircraft. Both jets are designed to operate in contested air environments using stealth to stay undetected by enemies. This requires a secure link that will not reveal the position of the fighter. The Air Force developed the F-22 in the 1980s and 1990s, and began work on the F-35 in the early 2000s. The F-22 uses the Intraflight Data Link or IFDL, while the F-35 uses the Multifunctional Advanced Data Link or MADL. The system is also planned to be used on the B-21 Raider Stealth Bomber. The MADL and IFDL systems are both designed to be systems with low detection and interception probability that allow the F-35 and F-22 variants to communicate as calmly as possible. The concept made them very difficult to add jamming. The problem is, MADL and IFDL use different waveforms that are not directly compatible. Even though in a major war scenario, the two planes will often fly side by side. So this incompatibility becomes a big problem. The F-35 can actually send information to the F-22 directly via Link-16, a much more widely used waveform. However, doing so will increase the chances that the enemy will be able to locate and track the aircraft through its emissions. The U.S. Air Force has been trying to fix this problem for years, and eventually developed a solution using the U-2 spy plane to pick up IFDL and MADL signals from both fighters and pass them on not only to each other, but also to stations on the ground. The technology could allow an F-22 that is running low on air-to-air -air missiles to share enemy missile tracking data with a fully armed F-35. This allows Lightning II to intercept. These are all part of the Pentagon's master plan to allow as many ships, aircraft and ground units as possible to communicate and share sensor data with each other in wartime. The American military has the right tools to do nearly any job during the war, but they may be scattered across different planes, units, or even services. The challenge is to connect all units across all services so that they can communicate and understand what their different abilities are. For example, in a future conflict, the F-35 might detect an enemy's ballistic missile launcher and decide that it is too dangerous to attack. The Air Force can rapidly pass target data to Army missile batteries within range of the launcher and use high explosive shells to destroy the launchers. Another example when a Marine Corps unit defending an island detects an incoming enemy aircraft could request F-22 fighters to intercept the threat. In 2020, the Air Force F-35A also used the U-2 to transmit sensor data to the Army's artillery units. In this scenario, the F-35A could use a 360-degree internal infrared camera network system to detect low-flying cruise missiles that are outside the detection range of an Army's air defense unit. The U-2 is very good at being a flying translator because the Air Force designed it as a high-end, high-altitude spy plane. The translation platform must fly high in order to convey signals between low-flying aircraft that may be outside Earth's curvature. The long flight times also mean the U-2 can fly in a safe place. Music